In this video, I'm going to look at the query function and in particular to look at the aggregate functions that we can use with the query function in Google Sheets, which I'll be looking at the sum, average count, and group by functions. So to take you through this, I have my data set here, which has region products, customer type, sales person, sales, and cost of sales. And in this sheet is where I'm going to be running my query function. The query function, you type query, it takes the first argument as the data. You come here, I select my data, control shift down, select everything, then comma. The next argument is the query. So for the query, I write select, I can say column A, and my column A is this first one here of the region. And the number of headers, rows, I have one. This is only one. So I put one like so, and which is optional. So when I press enter, you can see it returns the region. Now, I'm going to put my select function or my select statement right here, equal signs, select statement. Then in here, I'm going to refer to my select statement in a one, like so. So if I want uh, NS column selected here, maybe region, and cells, region is A, cells is E. All I have to do, this is region, then E, select E there, you get your cells. So whatever you want can be selected by just adjusting what is in here. So what I want is the sum per region. I have four regions, we have region one, if you go down here, region two, three, and four, and I want to get the sum per region. So all I have to do is to come here and say sum of E, like so, and then I use group by, I want to group by region, and my region is in column A. So I'll say group by A, and there you go. So you see, it will tell you region one is this, region two is that. And if I add all this, I get 1,167,007. If I come here and highlight it, you see that it is that. So this way you can get by region. You can also get by product. So all I have to do, come here, select product, which is in B. And then I say group by B. So when I do that, you can see that per, as per B, this is what we get. Now, there are other functions that you can also do with this. For example, the count function you can come here. And I say count, so I'm counting the cells and I'm grouping them per product. So in other words, I want to know how many of product one, how many of product 10 and so on. So I'll say B, which is the product and then count the cells. So it's going to give me a count and then group by this product. So when I press enter, it gives me that each of them has 12, 12. Now, there's also another thing that you can do, which is the average of the products, which is AVG. When I do that, 
this one gives me the average. So you can also say, maybe I want to bring all the three that we have looked at. I want to bring the product. Then I bring the sum. Or you have to do, type it there. Then I bring the count of E, like so, comma, enter. Then you'll see my sales is this, the count is this, and the average is this. And of course, you can check to see whether your answer is right by dividing the sales with the count. You get what is right here. So it shows you that this is correct. Okay. We can also go further and say we want, instead of grouping by only one item, we want to group by two items. And to do this, you need to take group, you first say group by a higher level uh, item, then move to the lower level. What, what do I mean? I mean that the higher level of classification of this data is at region, the next is maybe product or customer. So if you want to use product region and product, all we have to do is to come here and say, because I want region and region is in A, I'll say select A, comma, then B, my B is the product. Then I'll come and group by the order matters, you need to start with the higher level one, which is the region, comma, and B, like so. Then here you'll have your data. If you want to a number format it, you can always do that and it looks quite nice. So it, it tells me region one has the three products and the sum is this count is that and average is that. Then region two has these products with these sums and region three has these different ones. So this is how we can use the aggregate function with the query function in Google Sheets. I hope this has been helpful. And if so, please like, comment, share, and hit the notification button if you have liked this video and you want to see more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and have a great day.